In this video, we're going to tell you how to grow long hair faster than ever before. Keep watching because at the end, we're sharing a surprising tip that most people would normally avoid. My name's Jo and I'm from Expert Home Tips, the first place you should turn if you want to learn about DIY, home management and more. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss out on the latest life hacks. If you've ever had a dodgy haircut, you'll know the frustration of waiting for your hair to grow again. If you don't want to wait years for a few inches of growth, we've got some great tips that'll help your hair grow thick, healthy and long. Let's get started with ways to speed up hair growth. Tip number one is to eat a balanced diet. A balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals will boost your immune system, blood circulation and sebum production, contributing to healthier hair. If you're struggling to get enough vitamins and minerals in your diet, you could try a supplement. When looking for a supplement that will help with hair growth, a popular vitamin to try is biotin. Normally found in foods like egg and banana, biotin keeps your hair, skin and nails healthy. Be sure to speak to a doctor before changing or supplementing your diet. Tip number two is to avoid tight hairstyles. You'd be surprised by the damage a ponytail can do. If you need to keep your hair up, opt for silk scrunchies that won't snag and break your strands. Next, let's talk about hair washing, starting with how often you should wash it. The best thing you can do is wash your hair less, aiming for about every third day. If you're someone with hair that gets greasy after one day, hear us out. Shampoo strips the natural oils that nourish your hair and keep it in good condition. With a bit of patience and dry shampoo, you can train your hair so that it doesn't need washing as often. Give one day of hair washing a miss and see what happens. You can wear a shower cap to keep your hair dry between washes. Now onto products. Which shampoo and conditioner is the best? We suggest ditching the cheaper brands and using a good quality shampoo and conditioner. Always check the label for sulfates and silicones as these ingredients can damage your hair. The investment is well worth it and you might not notice much difference in the cost if you're cutting down on hair washes anyway. When washing, we love to massage the shampoo into the roots to increase blood flow to the scalp. Don't forget to give your hair a rinse with cold water at the end to close off the cuticles and keep hair shiny. Tip number five is to get a good hairbrush. Brushing your hair helps to stimulate blood flow to the scalp and a good brush or tangle teaser will prevent breakage. Remember to avoid brushing your hair straight after the shower. In fact, it's a good idea to brush your hair before washing to remove tangles. After washing, you can comb through it with your fingers or a wide tooth comb and then wait for it to be mostly dry before doing any further detangling. To keep your hair growing healthily, you should also avoid using heat. Instead of damaging your hair with hot styling, try heat-free methods instead. Start by drying and wrapping your hair up in a microfiber towel. This loop fastening turban is perfect because it doesn't pull on your hair like a big bulky towel does. It also allows you to be hands-free while drying off. If you'd like to try them out, we've left an Amazon link in the description box below. Some people like to use an old cotton t-shirt to dry their hair, and this method is also great for reducing friction. For the rest of the drying process, we love to let our hair air dry. That said, if you can't get by without your hair dryer, and even your straightener and curling wand, make sure that you're always using a good heat protectant. On the subject of avoiding heat styling, there are lots of ways to achieve beautiful curls without the damage. For example, we love doing the dressing gown tie method on slightly damp hair. If you'd like a full tutorial on how we did it, let us know in the comments below. Tip number seven is to prevent friction on your hair when sleeping. There are a few ways you can do this, but we like to use a silk pillowcase or bonnet to protect our hair from the breakage caused by cotton or synthetic sheets. It's also important to never go to bed with wet hair. This is a bad idea for several reasons, but mostly because your hair will become frizzy as you toss and turn in your sleep. Another trick for fast hair growth is to try a scalp massage. If you've never heard of the inversion method, you need to give it a try. Tip your head upside down and massage some oil into your scalp for three to four minutes. This will increase blood flow, meaning that your hair will get more nutrients and oxygen. We swear by this method for quick hair growth results but will you be giving it a try? Now, speaking of oils, you might be wondering which ones are good for hair growth. Our favorite oils for nourishing and adding moisture to our hair are argan oil and coconut oil. There are many other oils that you can try, like castor or avocado. 
oils can be applied as a mask before washing or as a leave-in treatment. It's entirely up to you. Tip number 10 is to try a fermented rice water rinse. The practice of growing hair with rice water is inspired by the Yao women in China who use it to wash their hair. Rice water is rich in antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, so we're not surprised that it makes your hair grow fast. The customary way to make rice water for hair growth has been adapted many times, but this is how we do it. Begin by rinsing and scrubbing any rice of your choice in water. Drain the water and then repeat the process to remove any impurities. Next, take an airtight container and add the rice. Fill it with boiling water and give it a good stir. At this stage, you can add some citrus peels or essential oils before tightly securing the lid. We really recommend doing this because the smell from fermentation is enough to make anyone's stomach turn. Leave your sealed container to one side until the rice water is cool. You can then either use it as it is or let it ferment. To ferment the rice water, it needs to be left for around 24 hours in room temperature. It might smell, but fermented rice water is supposed to be more beneficial. Now to use the rice water, we recommend transferring it to a spray bottle. This will make it a lot easier to apply to your hair. You can spray the rice water onto your hair in sections and then massage your scalp. While in the shower, pour the remainder over your hair, wait about five minutes and then rinse it out. The next step is crucial, so make sure you're paying attention. To get the full benefit, don't use shampoo. This will only strip the rice water from your hair. Keep repeating this process every one to three weeks and you'll notice how smooth and strong your hair is. With any luck, you'll see some rapid growth too. For our next tip, give apple cider vinegar a try. Not only does apple cider vinegar have lots of health benefits when you drink it, but you can also use it as a hair treatment. In a spray bottle, dilute one part apple cider vinegar to five parts water. Spray the product onto your hair and leave for five minutes before rinsing out in the shower. For our final tip, you might be surprised to hear that you need to cut your hair. We know this might sound counterproductive for hair growth, but it works. Breakage at the end of your hair will stop it from growing as quickly, so it's crucial that you keep those split ends at bay. A regular trim will help to minimise further damage and keep your hair healthy. Those are all of our tips for growing long and healthy hair. If you've watched this far, let us know which methods you're going to try and be sure to come back and tell us how you got on. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. To see the full instructions and get exclusive advice, head over to our website, experthometips.com. We've left a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for more expert home tips.